Hello everyone, I'm Jody Lynn and welcome to Aging Naturally where we talk about non-invasive better aging solutions for the mature skin. Today's video is all about a new product by Metacube. This is their Airshot Derma Pen. Let's go ahead and talk about this painless, risk-free derma pen. First of all, I just wanna start off by saying that I find Medicube products to be super creative, super innovative, as well as their skincare lines. Some of the ingredients that they use are really innovative. So I've just been really loving their creativity and innovation. This is definitely one of those products that does not disappoint. So the Derba Pen is supposed to absorb products deep into the skin by 432% more than using your hands. This is actually going to be in place of this is what the idea is. So Derma Rolling is using something of this nature. It is um, got needles on it and it is a type of micro needling. A lot of people have been coming out with a lot of Derma Rollers these days. Um, it's kind of like the new trend. I wouldn't say that it's new because it's been around for a really long time and estheticians do micro needling um, for their clients. What micro needling is supposed to do is using these needles you're creating micro channels into the skin. That is going to stimulate growth factors, collagen production, elastin, all of those wonderful things that we want to keep us looking youthful. Now, there's a whole process and how that works and I'm not gonna get into that into this video. If you wanna know more information about growth factors, stem cells, I've done a whole video on that where you can get more information about that. But that's it in a nutshell. In the comment section below, let me know, are you cosmetic needling or medical microneedling? Or have you been thinking about it, but just have been on the fence and why? Let me know. What a lot of people don't understand is that there are two types of microneedling. There is cosmetic needling and medical microneedling. A lot of the derma rollers that you're seeing all over that you know are being sold with serums are actually cosmetic needling. The needle length is what determines on whether or not it's cosmetic or medical microneedling. So cosmetic needling is where the needles are actually under a 0.5 length. So you're gonna see them at 0 0.25, 0 0.3. Those are the ones that are really common. Cosmetic needling actually is really good for product absorption and stimulating growth factors. Medical Medical microneedling is where you are using a needle length of 0.5 and above. So it is actually going deeper into the skin. It's otherwise known as collagen induction therapy. What that means is that when you are creating that wound deep into the skin, it activates this whole healing wound cascade. And through that process, it creates more collagen. Now that we have a better understanding of the two, let's go ahead and talk about this is going to be the derma pen and it is going to replace the cosmetic needling. So the derma rollers that are actually under 0.5 and it's just going to help to create a channel into the skin to help to absorb products 432% more than your hands. What I wanna do is compare these two products. So let me talk about the risks of this. Dermatologists really do not want you to derma roll at home due to the risks. And the reason for that is because so many people have tried it at home and they just haven't done it right. And they end up going to their dermatologist because they've got infections in their face or whatever else. So you need to be super sanitary when you are working with this because you are creating wounds in the skin. So there is going to be a higher risk of infection or drawing blood. When you are doing this type of thing, you really need to make sure that you have hand sanitizers, that you're wearing gloves, that you're cleaning the skin, it's super squeaky clean. So it's like a whole process. You need to be super safe and there are some risks. This, there are no risks involved because you're not even actually wounding the top layer of the skin. It's pretty interesting and it's super cool. You could potentially, you know, if you're going too deep with this, you could definitely get blood, no blood, no risk of injury. After you're done, you need to make sure that you are clean cleaning this properly. A lot of people think that all you're gonna do is just spray 70% alcohol. You really need to really clean it more than that. So there's a whole process. This, honestly, all you need to do 
is just wipe it down. I spray a little bit of water and I just wipe it with a cloth. That's it, super simple. And with this, you don't even need to touch the skin. There is definitely some downtime with this as well. Your face definitely um, can get red depending on the needle length. My skin, when I do cosmetic needling, does get pretty red. And it, it takes anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half for my skin to go down. That really just depends on the sensitivity of your skin. There is no downtime with this. My skin does not get red. Red, nada, nothing when I use this. That's really interesting. If you've got acne, also it is recommended not to do it over acne if you've got some acne spots because of the very fact that you don't want to spread that bacteria all around the face. With this, you can definitely just go over it with the Dermapen, no problem. This is definitely more risky. You need to be super careful and I'm gonna say that it's not that easy to use just because you really need to know how you're going, what areas, what way. It, it's just a whole process. This, super easy to use, no risks, no pain. Talk about cost of these two. You can purchase these under $20, really depends. The GoPro I think is really like 200 and some dollars and you do need to repurchase this area on the Derma Roller. So it really depends, but you can find them pretty cheap on Amazon. I think that I spent under $15 for this one. However, if you go into an esthetician's office and you do either cosmetic or micromedical needling, it's anywhere from $350 on up per session. And that is something that you are going to be needing multiple sessions of. This is a one-time cost. So while it can be more expensive than this, you never need to replace anything on this, which is pretty cool. And I do have a 10% discount if it is something that you're interested in, which would make it cheaper. Talk about this device and how this even works. First of all, it has a 120 degree angle that reaches every part of the skin. So you can see that it is just a little bit angled, which is going to fit nicely so that you can use it on every part of the skin, except you are not going to want to use it around the eye area and you're not going to want to use it here. It is red LED light therapy to aid in creating those channels as well as to give you a soothing effect. It's very lightweight and also what's super cool, this is another thing why I love Medicube, is there's a lady and she speaks to you so it has audio Level one. and she tells Level you also, when you're doing the treatment, she will let you know the time. She'll be like, one minute has passed. One minute passed. I love that. I don't need a stopwatch. She keeps me on point. So how this works is it actually is using electricity to open up that channel in the skin. Let me go ahead and tell you how you use this. It is one to two times a week and you wanna make sure that you take at least three to four days in a row off. Your skin needs to be squeaky clean and dry. No product whatsoever. There are actually five levels. The five levels do not have anything to do with intensity. They actually have to do with how many passageways it's creating in the skin. And it is always recommended to start off with the level one and then work your way up. There are actually three methods on how to use this. One of the methods is a tapping motion. And you're just gonna quickly tap and go like this. There is also the sweeping where you are tapping and sweeping, tapping and sweeping. I found when I used both of those methods that I did have a sensation on the skin. It is kind of like this, like a scratch. Just kind of like that. That's kind of what it feels like. If you don't want to feel anything, then you're going to like the brushing method. The brushing method is where you're not touching the skin at all and you are just brushing it like this. Kind of like you're doing a paintbrush or something. Just like that. Don't feel anything at all. You're always gonna to wanna to start from the inside of the face and work your way in upward emotions. It's a five minute treatment and once you're all done, you're gonna go ahead and use those serums that you want to really penetrate deeper into the skin. And what I love to do is my Growth Factors by Bradceuticals, absolutely love this. Um, and then I go on with my Buffet Copper Peptides. I absolutely love this as, as well. And then just go on with your regular skincare routine. Also what's really neat is they have pour serum that can help unclog those pores to really help to tighten them. So if you've got those really large pores in this area or on the nose, you can use their serum with this and that is gonna penetrate it deeper and it's really going to help clean out that area and exfoliate that area, which is going to make the pores a lot more smaller and not so large. Medicube did a whole video and I think that they um, really explain it well. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip here.
The principle of the pore shrinking procedure is a restoration of the pore wall's elasticity by causing small wounds that stimulate collagen production. However, this damages your skin. That causes a long recovery time negatively affecting your daily life. So, a pore care specialized company developed a needle-free derma pen and pore serum based on the procedure's principle. The needle-free derma pen makes tiny channels. Then the pore serum that contains pore shrinking ingredients is absorbed four times deeper through the tiny channels. The deeply absorbed pore serum restores the pore wall's elasticity and minimizes the appearance of pores fundamentally. According to the results, it minimizes damage, which means no recovery time is needed. In a human application test, every single testee shows a decrease in their pore size and the more they used it the better results they've got. If you're suffering from large pores, this is highly recommended. I've actually been using this in place of my cosmetic needling and I've been loving not having the downtime on it. I've been only using it two times a week and then I've been doing my micromedical needling um, once a month and I think this is super cool. I think it's super innovative. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this handy dandy device. Is it something that you would try? I hope that you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you do not miss my upcoming videos. Until next time.